Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back for some more Witcher 3, and it's time to get ankle deep in the quests around here. So, our current mission, if we pop open the old map, is way off yonder in this weird swampy area is, um, is like an old castle or some, or some such where um, the Nilf Guardians, also known as the Black Ones, have set up shop, and that's where we need to go to further ourselves in the story. But before we go do that, it's usually a really good idea to go and do some other quests and to do a little bit of leveling, because some of the monsters in this game can really beat the shit out of you. So we're gonna try and work towards not letting that happen by going to the old uh, notice board. And there's different stuff in here, there's like little tidbits of lore, like, uh... The Nilfgaardian Lessons. Don't understand what you ju- oh, it's like... So it's like telling you, um, some bits from the Nilfgaardian, uh, language. It's like, don't understand what you just read, no wonder, it's in Nilfgaardian. And soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. So you'd best start learning it now. And yours truly can help you with that, for a very... Modest fee, of course. Ernest Vicarvaro. So we've also got uh, an Imperial Verdict, telling people that if you're interested in not getting murdered by the invading uh, people, the Nilf Guardians, hey, maybe you could donate your face and maybe your skin to the cause. We've got somebody who's looking to borrow a plow because they ran theirs aground on a rock. Oh, it's all kinds of good stuff. So what we're looking for is... Um, this guy, Dune Wildenvert, is looking for his brother, Bastion, who went off to fight the Black Ones. Uh, I've reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right, but if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground, the least, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him neath the burrow where our parents lie not leave his corpse to be nibbled on by the prowling, uh, beasties. So, we're gonna have to- one of the quests we can do is we can help this guy find his maybe dead brother. And then, there's another guy who's had a nasty run-in with an old banshee by a well. Uh, yeah. So, we gotta go stab a banshee in the face. All sorts of good stuff, but where I want to start, after I continue to pack rat, a bunch of these different herbs is with our dear friend the midget man well he's technically not a midget he's actually a dwarf this game is kind of old school in that the metal workers are all dwarves of some variety or at least that I've seen so far and something has happened to this fair fellows forge what happened here Oh, got a wee bit chilly tonight, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Ah, well. Maybe take it easy on the insults, dwarf face. Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Nilf Guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Huh. Well, I've got good news for you, sir. I happen to be a mutagenically enhanced uh, witcher man. So if you have the money for it, I could, you know, find the dude that did it and stab him in the face. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in. So that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. 
Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Alrighty, well, let's go have a look-see out back, shall we? Um, also, there's more weeds back here that I can pluck, and also a small child playing grab-ass with a bush. What do I got to do to get me a sword like that? You know, it's interesting that I'm, like, investigating a strange set of tracks out back of the hut when... There are people, like, everywhere. Like, this dude could have just, like, come and peed behind this dude's house. Like, there's, like, this... Uh, is this a woman? Well, there's, there's just kids everywhere. How does he even know that this is where the fire started? I would have expected them to kind of offer me, like, multiple places to start looking for shenanigans out back. So, we activate our Witcher senses, where we go into kind of, like, animal instinct mode. And what's this? A bunch of shit on the ground. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Alright, so we got a random tinderbox, and we've also got a set of tracks. Boot prints. A man's. Large. So off we go. To find this. And honestly, if I had to tell you what it feels like to play this game trying to, like, accomplish quests, it feels like we're Sherlock Holmes with werewolf powers and a stabby device. As opposed to, um, like a, like a sidekick who beats the shit out of people for us. Who is like a, a medic in, like, the military. Let's see, so we follow the old footprints past the cow and down to the boat. Ah, yes. Good old Boatsy. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. All right. So, this is something that I, I never was very sure about. Um, when you have the tutorials turned on in this game, it tells you not to go robbing the, the village of, like, anything in it with people around, because they'll get pissed off. But, so far, I've robbed people right in front of them in their own homes, and they haven't really given a shit. And I'm not, like, playing on super easy, this is just normal mode. And it has been odd so far. So, where is the next set of tracks? Should we draw it or not? Gotta make soup out of something. But Tosley said he'd not give his dog this water. Not with so many corpses oh, there's like sure the water's all soured because the dead people. All right. Lost his boots in the rush. Hmm. There's crazy swamp monster footprints here, eh? Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners, but he managed to escape. All right. So there's like this creature in The Witcher, and it kind of looks like the old school version of, like, uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Also, the Killing Floor 2 just popped up a notification for some reason. Um, and so they look really retro and old school and cool, but they're also a pain in the ass to deal with. So, somewhere in here, our assailant has left bleeding footprints on the ground. Also, a bloodstain. Tracks lead back to the village. And I thought it was interesting, like, if you enter the village, like, this blood and everything is already here. But you don't know that it's meaningful until you start to do some of the quests, and I think that adds, like, a cute and really in-depth ambiance to the game that I just don't get in a lot of other places that only actively spawn stuff as you need it, which has always been kind of lame to me. So we just follow the globules of blood and the bloody people prints. Oh look, it leads to somebody's house. Let's just randomly break in and start asking some questions. Although odd that no one seems to give a shit that you're in their house. That has always struck me as a little odd. And what do you know? We've got a random drunk kind of looking peasant whose feet are all muddy. And there's something fucked up with his hand. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. 
I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you- I love this guy. You don't Technically, you. we're a non-human because we're all mutated and stuff. And, and like, he just I completely insulted everyone who's not 100% human and expects to bribe us into not getting him murdered. Nope, you're coming with me, sir. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Nope, I ain't got time for your shenanigans, sir. Why don't you settle on down? Calm down. Now follow me. Alright. That takes care of that. Now let's go talk to our dwarfy friend. I got me a reward to collect, and then whenever it gets dark, I'll probably... What did you just say to me, sir? What did you just say? Get out of here with your bullshit. Calling me a freak when I could disembowel you for fun. Alright, so let's run on up here, talk to the old dwarf. Someone just left a fag in the streets. Just a, just a big old faggot. That's a, that's a bundle of sticks in Old English, you know. Or that's what it was originally called. Now it's what we use to refer to people that like other dudes and ladies. I don't- I wish I understood how, like, people decide to make derogatory terms. It's always confused me a little. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mom for years! Charged her nary a copper! This is how you repay me! I've had enough. Hey, soldier! A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you! I I I, I was drunk! D didn't know- uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, delicious, murdery justice. Once reinforcements come. It's my favorite. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Oh man, you gotta love wartime justice. You don't gotta pay any lawyers, and it's really fast and efficient. Well, I guess the villagers will love you now, eh, dwarf boy? Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know... I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Oh sweet, so we kill the guy and we get a discount on merchandise. Hell yes! Alright, so I guess next time we will probably go and chitter-chatter to that guy about finding his lost brother because it's a little less, um, like, uh, footworky despite having to travel further than fucking around with that weird wraith by the well. So let's head in that general direction, shall we? Actually, let me see where his thing was. Um, this direction is the uh, garrison. I think he's back over here by the ransacked village. So let's go into our quest log. Uh, here we go. Missing in action. And that should... Yeah, he's back over by that ransacked village. So I think we will go fast travel over that way. That's what these signposts are for. These little green ones that name the towns and locations and stuff. So onwards to adventure, horseman. Yes. 
greatest adventure is waiting to begin. Hurry onward, Larry, or you will soon be bored. I think that's how that song goes, right? Kings do the fighting. Out of the way, asshole, this is a road. I love doing that. So much fun. Let's go piss off the guard a little bit. Come here, buddy. What's up? Stop. Ah, he doesn't like it. You're adorable. Wee! Oh, that's fun. Alright. Let's see here. I would like to go to the ransacked village, sir. Over next to all these question marks. All right. Well, with this shade of the lovely uh, tree full of dead people, I guess that's where I'll leave you, ladies and genteels. And pandimensional uh, demon creatures, also known as Neeklid. Um, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and toodaloo!